Hey guys, what's going on? So in this video, we'll be learning about git rebase. So git rebase by definition moves the sequence of commits done from one branch to another. So it is very similar to merging or you could say that it's a cleaner form of merging. So you might ask, well, what's the difference between merging and rebase? So I should say that rebase has a kind of an upper edge over merge. That's because of the couple of reasons that I can mention right now. One reason is that when you do a merge, it automatically logs superfluous or unnecessary commit messages, or you can say merge messages, which might make our log look ugly, specifically if you have large commit histories. Another reason is that when you rebase onto a branch, say main branch, it creates a linear history. So it appears as if you have been working on the main branch itself. This is something that Merge does not offer. Merge creates something of a divergent and convergent histories. Okay, don't, don't worry if you haven't understood a single thing. We will actually make use of an online visualizer to understand this much better. Okay, so I am in the online Git visualizer. I must say that it's a great tool. You can try it out too if you want to you know, check out certain concepts. I'll give the link to this in the description below and you can make yourself to understand and grasp better about Git workflows. All right. So let's go ahead and first understand what happens to the history when we do a merge. So let me go ahead and do a couple of git commits, git commit, git commit. And let me actually make a branch, say test. And one more git commit. Okay, now let me go back to master branch. Check out master. Then let's commit again, git commit and git commit. Okay, now let's merge the test branch onto master branch. So to merge it, you have to type git merge and the branch name, which is test. So one thing to remember is that whenever we do merge, we check out to the branch onto which we want to merge to. So in, in this case, we want test to be merged into the master branch. And we are now currently checked out at the master branch because we want to merge and bring that branch test branch onto the master branch. So if you don't know what exactly a merge is, I have video on that. You can check it out from the link at the description below or you can click at the top right corner of this video cool so let me merge this okay so now you can see from the graph here that here at this part we have a divergence all right we have divergence of test and master branch and at this point we have a conversion of master and test branch okay so you might ask this is not a big deal so let's look what happens when you have multiple branches and you are committing it to the master branch so it looks kind of this pretty ugly ain't it and moreover let me go back and show you the commit history so if you, if you want to take a look at commit history you have to type git log and you can notice that there is a commit called merge now this is a superfluous and unwanted merge uh, or you can say commit history so by default git registers a commit whenever you do a merge all right so these all things happen when we do a merge let's quickly check what happens when you do a rebase instead of a merge so let me clear the screen clear and let me do some couple of commits hit check out dash b test hit commit hit commit hit commit and let's check out master hit commit and git commit cool so we are back at the same scenario now one thing to note is that unlike a merge command where you check out to a branch and do a merge from there in rebase we do not check out to a branch on which you want to rebase to rather okay so go back to the test branch cool so rather than checking out to the branch you want to rebase to you stay in the current branch in this case our current branch is test and rebase onto the branch of your choice and i want to rebase onto the branch master and the command for rebase is simple git rebase and the branch name. So we want to rebase onto branch master. So we type master. Now notice what happens when I hit enter. All right. So as soon as we typed git rebase master, all our commits from test branch got moved on top of our master branch. As you can see, there is no divergence as such because all these commits are moved and there is no convergence as well. So this means that this created a linear workflow. And if you go ahead and take a look at 
commit history by typing git log you'd see that there is no superfluous commit message as well remember when we did a merge we got an extra message saying merge but that doesn't exist here so this means that git rebase has actually produced as a more cleaner commit history and more cleaner commit graphs okay now can you find something strange here well here the branch test is on top of master so how to update this as a master branch well you might think that a checkout would do the trick so let me show you that if i do a git checkout towards master you might think it would do the trick but no it didn't or you can say it did not set the master to point to let us commit so what can you do here well all you have to do here is that after rebasing you need to check out to the master branch okay so let me come back to the test again so okay so when we did a rebase our head is pointed to the test branch or the branch you just rebased and if you want to update the master branch all you have to do is check out to the master branch by typing git checkout and apply a rebase once again but this time on to our test branch so you do once again git rebase and we rebase onto our test branch. So we type test. And that's it. You have successfully merged test branch while maintaining a clean commit history. So if I go ahead and type git log, you can see that we are having a clean commit history, no superfluous commits, and we maintained a linear graph. We didn't have any, we don't have any divergence, we don't have any multiple complex graphs and things as such. Okay, now before I finish this. Let me give you a piece of advice. So rebasing is really good if you are implementing it in your local repositories, but it is generally not recommended to rebase when multiple developers are working on a particular repository. Uh, it's not a really great practice to use rebase on a repository that is maintained by a community, or you can say on a public repository. All right, guys, that's all for this video. I hope you really understood about Git rebase. And if you really understood about Git rebase, please make sure to support us you can support us by hitting the thumbs up button or you can subscribe to our channel. You can also spread the word to others who really want to learn more about Git and other tech stack. We'd be gladly willing to help them and this will also help our channel to grow. Alright guys, that's all for this lecture. See you guys in the next video.